<clears throat> all right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise to our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, who are hope and mercy and salvation in these last days during the time of Jacob's trouble. As well as when Yahweh Shah returns to the planet Earth. All right. Um, what I have queued up on the screen is a video um, that was put up by <clears throat> uh, Mike Adams on his uh, website, Natural News. And he featured uh, this pastor. His name is escaping me. Hang on, let me get his name. Um, Slakia. Let me get this man's name. And what they're discussing is basically, you know, things that the prophets have been saying. Since the Most High rose him up. Now, of course, he doesn't have no understanding according to the scriptures. All right. There's uh, this pastor. He doesn't have the answers. And, um, you know, certain things that he said. Oh, his name is uh, Brad Cummings, and he's a biblical scholar. He's a. Uh, a pastor as well as a biblical scholar. All right. That's him there on the screen. Um, a couple of things that they said I wanted to highlight. You know, see, because he, what you what you notice about these Christians, they know that there's evil being done in the earth and that the powers that be are, are, are playing out this evil or at the helm of it. And they look like each other, but they just can't seem to tie the two together. Like, you know, they think that the most high deals with individuals. And that's how uh, salvation is going to be based, basically out of an individual point of view, which is totally wrong. All right. The Heavenly Father, when he judges, he judges nations. Hence why the nation of Israel, we're all messed up. At the same time, we all went into captivity. The uh, Northern Kingdom were ransacked, raped, robbed, and murdered uh, by Esau, the so-called white man. All right. Then they brought over the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. All right. First, they went to Portugal and Spain. All right. Because we did rule those eras, those areas. They call it the Middle Ages or the Dark Ages. All right. And they started. Once they, uh, uh, you know, were conquering uh, the tribes, the northern kingdom, they were killing off so many they had to get slaves and um, help repopulate the northern kingdom that they were killing off. So what they do, they went to, again, like I said, first Portugal, Spain, uh, then they went to the west coast of Africa. And this is... Hence, the uh, excuse me, the North Atlantic slave trade. All right. So these Christians, they can, they can, they can pinpoint evil is in the earth, but they can't pinpoint that it's dead people that's doing. It. But that's all right because this is uh, the job of the prophets. All right. We're here to tell you that you are the evil. All right. Unless your seed goes back on your father's side to the nation of Israel. That's the only way you Edomites, you so-called white people, you pale face are going to receive any type of mercy. All right. Because the heavenly father said he, he, uh, set up over the earth, the basis of men. And that's who you are. All right. You know, Mike Adams is, he, he, he got questions. He, he want to know, you know, uh, uh, 
people that are standing up, they end up in jail and uh, uh, blackballed and this, that, and the third. That's because you don't, they don't understand, you people don't understand the Holy Scriptures. You, you claim to bring these biblical scholars, these Christians, you know, people that have wrote uh, biblical uh, textbooks, you know, sold 20, because he says he sold 22 million on the book he wrote. That's not a man of the Lord, man. That's an Edomite in this society, right? Uh, using the Heavenly Father, you know, in the word <clears throat> as a uh, a shield to proclaim that he's not a part of the rest of them Edomites that are calling the shots. You are a part of them, and you're just a low level of them, right? That think you know the most high. Like I said, only only hope that you 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 so-called white people have all right is that you that your lineage goes back either to another nation on your father's side or it goes back to the nation of israel all right on your father's side because if not you will be eradicated as a people that's the judgment the heavenly father has prescribed for the nation of Israel. all right so i'm gonna read this and i'm gonna play a little little bit of this video and uh you know bring out some scriptures and precepts that uh come to me lord will if it be yahweh bashim yahweh will um to, to uh feed me in the spirit all right but this is the book of daniel chapter 4 verse 17 it says this matter is by the decree of the watchers all right who are the watchers the prophets all right when you go to uh Ezekiel, the third chapter. All right, let me get that real quick. Okay. Ezekiel, the third chapter in the 17th verse, tells you that the Heavenly Father set up watchers. All right. It says, uh, Son of Ezekiel 317, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. All right. Unto the house of Israel. All right. And this is why you have the prophets out there. It was a question Mike Adams asked this man. Um, are we, are we, uh, has the messenger been sent uh, before the destruction comes? And he said he didn't, but he didn't, he didn't think so. He don't believe so. That's because he ain't a man of the Lord, man. It's going to come to the point to where the heavenly father is going to shut everybody mouth. Biblical scholars commercial pastors, neighborhood pastors, everybody that think that they know the scriptures, the heavenly father is going to shut your mouth and allow his men to speak so that you, so everybody can understand what's really going on. All right. Even though people see the Israelites out there, but you, you, you try to fan us off like we're crazy and we're this big racist group when all we're doing is telling you what's going to happen according to the scriptures. All right. Ezekiel 317 again, son of man, I've made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right. And what are we watching for the prophecies? All right. We're watching for these end time prophecies to come to pass. All right. That's another thing that Mike Adams had. He said, are we locked in end time biblical prophecy? And this 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 bootleg Christian straight up said no he said no so you you rely on these christians they're gonna lead they're gonna get you destroyed out here all right they're gonna get you totally destroyed you gotta rely on the heavenly father's watchman now let's go back to the book of daniel the fourth chapter 17 verse all right and let's get this point out of here the book of Daniel, chapter four, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers, the prophets, and by the demand, I'm sorry, and the demand by the word of the holy ones, okay? The prophets, because the word that they're speaking is the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and this is what makes them holy, all right? To the intent that the living may know Everybody on the earth walking around, breathing, uh, talking, like on this show right here, this interview, Mike Adams, they're living, all right? 
It says, to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. Because they wondering who's going to, how are these people in the power seat, this, that, and the third, that's creating all these wicked, this wickedness and who worship uh, Satan out, outright open, who, who, uh, you know, deal with uh, child sacrifice, child trafficking, sex trafficking, um, aborting babies, you know, they, this is stuff they're mentioning, all right? But the Heavenly Father has this man in that in that seat, all right? But this is what they can't tell you, okay? It says, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomsoever he will. And he's given it to Esau Edom, pursuant to Genesis, the 27th chapter, when it was prophesied that he would rule uh, by his sword. And he was going and he was going to have control of the entire planet Earth. All right. So we're in that prophecy of Esau Edom ruling the planet Earth and he's ruling by the power of his sword. OK. Um, it says. And set it up over it, the basest of men. And that's who's ruling right now. The lowest of the low, the baseboard man. Right. Um, let's look up this word basis. OK. If you Christians, you want to learn, you got to start listening to the Israelites, the, the great millstone Israelites, uh, uh, to be uh, quite frank. All right. Um, the word for. Uh, 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 the word basis goes back to the Hebrew word. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Strong's H. 8215, Shapal, right? Shapal, which means low, lowliest, um, low basis. And what they're talking about when they're mentioning uh, the, the blatant outright worship of uh, Baal or Baal and Molech to where they're sacrificing children and things of that nature, this is why he is the basis of men, all right? Because this is what he does, and he does it out in the open. He don't. He's at the point where he don't care who see him, all right? This man don't care who's 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 uh, paying attention to what he's doing because his whole attitude now is what you are gonna do about it? You ain't gonna be able. You can't do nothing about it, all right? So I think I got it at the uh, the the proper mark where I want. And, um, and then we'll skip it around, you know, just so you can hear, all right? Because at this point, nobody has the answers except the prophets, the, the true prophets of Yahweh Bashim and all right? And, now, and those are the men of Great Millstone, beginning with the apostles and elders, all right, of Great Millstone. You don't like that? Then, hey, don't watch our videos. There's plenty of other Israelite groups, all right? But the true prophets that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is primarily dealing with are Great Millstone. Okay, so let's listen. Of Jews, and you're just going like, "Oh my gosh, how terrible that that's that's what they feed their children, and they just sort of raise it up." It, it was it was disturbing for me to find out that that wasn't just oh we indoctrinate our kids to a place of hatred, but there's actual atrocities that have been done down through history it's like some of the, the 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 grievous things that that we would look about as far as child sacrifice and all the kind of you know the kidnaps and, 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 and atrocities and it's like i'd love to say that those aren't true but the, but the problem is is i was i was seen firsthand with people who are going like no that's not hyperbole that's not just indoctrinated racism and hatred we've suffered that and there is no justice and I'm sitting here going like, wow, I'm having to deal with the reality of going like all of my little um, shallow, superficial assumptions 
of what is true was just being challenged. And I'm going like, oh, my gosh, there really is history here. And if you go back, you know, it's like the whole notion of Israel and who is Israel. That just seems like to be taboo that you're not allowed to even take a look at that. But in the Old Testament, it's like the the, the 10 northern tribes, they went whole in on Baal and Molech worship. And they were yes. they were just they they were destroyed. They weren't lost. God pulverized them and allowed the Assyrians to come in and absolutely ransack everything. And I, I don't I don't think people are honest and realize the fact that there are, there's some deep seated horrific religious practice and sacrifice rituals to the fallen. And and the so right the fallen. It's talking about these, uh, he, what he's referring to is fallen of people that don't know God and, you know, but truly indeed, it's the whole Edomite race, all right? The whole Babylon the Great, besides the elect here, all right? People don't even know that they worship in these, uh, deities from the ancient world. It's because Esau Edom puts it out there, all right? When you go to Hollywood Boulevard, all right? Um, what you have right there in the opening off of Hollywood and Highland Boulevard, you have what they call uh, the the, uh, the the Babylonian gates, all right? Because that's what that represents, all right? The uh, the gates of Ishtar, right down there. I mean. They got it down to the same type of uh, hieroglyphs and all that on the wall down there, man. All right. So people don't even know. And that's their fault because uh, because of their willingly willingness to remain ignorant, just like this Christian pastor. All right. But he mentioned uh, Molech, right? And, and Baal. And he mentioned the Old Testament because this was uh, something that our forefathers did, all right, and which caused us to be carried away captive unto all nations, even unto this very day, all right. Um, so I'm going to read a couple of these scriptures. Um, this is the book of uh, Leviticus 18:21, and thou shalt not. Let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech. Neither shall thou profane the name of the name of thy power. I am Yahweh. Right. So Israel has been doing this. And where you think Esau Edom got this from? Because where did, where did Israel get it from? Israel got it from the other nations, got it from the nation of Ham in particular. The Canaanites, uh, uh, the Amorites, the Jebusites. All right. Uh, uh, you know, those, 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 uh, Hamitic nations that was in, in the land before we got there. All right. They were off into this, off into, uh, Satan worship heavy. Okay. Um, Verse uh, Leviticus 24 and 5, it says, and if and if the people of the land do any ways. I'm sorry. And if the people of the land do any ways, hide their eyes from the man when he giveth his seed onto Molech and kill him not. And this is how we know you. you all you people are uh, Dwayne way. You 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 on your way out. All right. Will Smith, Will and Jada Pickett Smith. Y'all are y'all are gone, all right? Because you've caused your children to pass through the fire, all right? You've sacrificed your children to to uh push this alphabet people agenda for these uh Edomite uh, uh elite, these bankers, the rulers of the world, because they know if they can get they can get Jake to do certain things to influence the rest of the world, that their uh magic will work. And this is what it's been doing. All right. This is why they uh took over and 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 totally corrupted the music, the music industry. 
because that's a, a form to get you uh, people to worship these gods. Don't let me get started on Jay-Z, Beyonce, uh, uh, all these people that are that have uh, uh, P. Diddy. They all know what time it is. They know that they worship Satan, but they ain't going to tell you that. All right. But this is something that has always been done since the beginning of time. All right. Um, verse five, then I will set my face against that man and against his family. So Esau, the most high has his face set against you. All right. And against your family, which is all of you Edomites, the most high is against all of you. It don't matter if you a pastor to uh, Jesus Christ, because you're not a pastor of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. You're a pastor of because he even mentions in this how he has these degrees and this, that, and the third doctor, doctoral de degrees and, you know, biblical uh, degrees. The most I didn't give you them degrees. The so-called, your, your, your brother, the white man, gave you, you Edomite Christians that, all right? And, and you've been making money off of it, okay? The scriptures say that the, uh, the children of the Most High are, 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 are poor. All right. Uh, Revelation, uh, what is that? Three and ten. I know thy works, tribulation, and poverty. All right. But thou art rich, meaning rich in faith. Okay. So going back, uh, verse five again, it says, Then I will set my face against that man and against his family, and I will cut him off and all that go a whoring after him. So Esau got all of you people a whoring after him through his mighty dollar that he waving in front of your face like a carrot, all right, to Bugs Bunny. And you're in that trance of getting that money and you willing to do whatever to get that money. Look at Sexy Red, okay? Look at all these little niggas that have come up to be rappers and wind up with their tops blown off in their hometown. All right? It's because they had made that, that sacrifice. Kanye West even brought it out. In order for him to get to that status, he had to sacrifice his mother. All right? So the cat is out the bag. And all of you who have been, who have been, uh, you went after the ways of Esau, Edom. Just like in the ancient world, the Israelites, whoever went after him who was serving these other gods, all right, to commit whoredom with Molech from among their people, this is what the Most High going to do, all right? I'm going to read that again. Verse 5, it says, then I will set my face against that man, all the Edomite, all right, and against his family, all you Edomites. And we'll cut him off. And you Edomites are on the verge of being cut off. All right. You, you're about to you're about to fight this war, and it's gonna be the last war that you fight. All right. And all that go or whoring after him, that goes for the two-thirds of the nation of Israel and all you other nations. Everybody about to get it when our Lord and Savior returns, whose name is Yahweh Shai, all right? All of you are about to get it. OK, to commit whoredom with Molech from among their people. And what was Molech known for? Child sacrifice up in Sonoma County. When you get up uh, to the, about the Central Valley in California. All right. When you get up there a little further in the Central Valley. You have uh, uh, the Bohemian Grove and inside the Bohemian Grove, you have this tall ass representation of Molech which is an owl statue, and they have these, uh, they be having uh, uh, rituals, and homosexual practices there every year, all right? Uh, a whole uh, warlock's haven up there, man, okay? Um, verse 6. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards, 
to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people. So a lot there's gonna be a lot of people that die out here because they going after the ways of Esau Edom because his ways are after Satan. Okay. That's who his ways are after. He and his ways ain't after the most high. All right. Let's go to the book of John, the eighth chapter, right quick. And I'm gonna play back the video. This is the book of St. John. Chapter 8. Um, 44. Okay. Now, when Yahweh Shai said this, he was talking to Israelites. All right. Because the Israelites have went after uh, uh, Satan. They have went after their father, the devil. All right. Which was, which was those Romans. Right, these wicked scribes and Pharisees that was coming against you, I was shy. He had to cuss out. So in this in this day and age, two thirds of you are going after Satan because Satan is in the ruler seat, and you 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 mirror your life after the way he lives. All right. Uh, Saint John eight forty four. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and that goes back to Cain. Right. OK, a lot of you are walking around in the spirit of Cain because you look up to Cain. All right. And the bold not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. Ain't no truth in you, Edomites. I don't give a damn how much biblical school you didn't went to. All right. Just that alone proves that ain't no truth in you. OK. It says, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And that's this man. So let's listen to a little more. Supposed notion of the, the special chosen people of God, that actually doesn't come from the scriptures. That comes from the Babylonian Talmud. No, it does come from the scriptures. All right. It just, your, it, your, your Christian narrative doesn't fit what the Bible says. All right. Because the Heavenly Father does. Have one chosen people, and he's only gonna save one chosen people. Isaiah the fourteenth chapter. Let me get that. Okay, it's gonna be a real, uh, uh, rude awakening for all of you, all of you people out here, man. Okay, Isaiah chapter fourteen, verse one. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel. All right. And set them in their own land. If those are the people, what the hell? Ain't the most high supposed to set them people over there? His people in the land? But they over there on their own. They went back in 1948 and, and proclaimed that it was biblical prophecy, which is all bullshit. Them ain't the people. All right? You you people over here, you, 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 you got these talks about the H-A-M-A-S. And those small hatters, and you know what we say about fuck both of them nations. Fuck them all. Let them, let them destroy each other because what's going to happen is that the Heavenly Father is going to straight up have them, have them go to war. And they, all gonna, they are going to destroy each other, nuclear. And before those nuclear missiles go off, he's going to uh, deliver his, his children, the children of Israel. All right? That's what's going to happen. Okay. Because he has yet chose Israel. He ain't never not chose Israel. Okay. And he's going to set us back in our own land. All right. It says, and the strangers and those strangers are Israelites. All right. That didn't, that didn't know that they were Israelites, but came to the realization that they are the, indeed the true Israelites. All right. They're going to be joined back uh, uh, onto Israel. All right. And the stranger shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. All right. And that hasn't happened yet. That's future prophecy 
that has not happened, right? Um, yeah, let's play some more. Shalak. Most of the Israeli rabbis that I have gotten to know, they know more about the Babylonian Talmud than they do. We, we think they just read the Old Testament scriptures. That's because that's because they're not the people. Their spirit ain't aligned with this book. Romans, the eighth chapter tells you our spirit bear witness that we are the children of the most high. Right. That's why they don't go into our book because it's not their book. The Talmud fits them. Circumcising little boys with their mouths, wickedness, uh, sac uh, wicked sacrifices, homosexual acts. All right. That's what their spirit is aligned with. Because they are the wicked. And so when, when you look at this, there's a lot of real awful stuff that comes from the, the Talmud and the practice of Baal and, and, and Molech worship. And it's like that's involved in this whole mess. And no one seems to, to want to take a look at that. I'm glad you pointed that out. Uh, th this is something that's been really bothering me these past few days where we have nations – uh, and I'm going to say Israel and the United States, the, the only two nations I'm aware of that were founded on Christian principles, uh, and I'm talking about the 1948 um, Israel, and yet both of these nations are involved in abortion, child mutilations, wokeism, which is the transgenderism, uh, uh, brainwashing, exploitation of children, and, and mutilating children, chemical castrations, but also, especially in the United States, child trafficking, but there's an element of that in Israel as well, and there's this contradiction in the culture where the cultures say, well, we're the chosen ones. God has chosen us, especially in Israel. God has chosen our nation to be the special nation, the exceptional nation. And geopolitically in America, we are told we are the exceptional nation geopolitically. Our dollar shall reign supreme. Our, our policies, our Navy shall reign supreme, which it did since World War II, although that's ending. But that all of that, that that specialty, that special recognition that is claimed by people who say God shines his love upon us, that stands in contradiction to the unwillingness of the populations of these two nations to face the truth about child trafficking, mutilations, baby murder, uh, harvesting organs from babies, which the FDA does in, in the United States and so on. Uh, those two things can't coexist. I mean, you can't be a nation steeped in such evils and then think, oh, God is going to look upon us with such favor. Uh, or am I wrong in that? But no. I, I got a scripture on that. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 32. I'm going to start at 31 and I'm going to read down um, to about 35. Um, because in the ancient world, this is what the real nation of Israel did. All right. Just as. He mentioned uh, the small hatters and the U.S. They're taking practice of what Israel went a whoring after, which was which ultimately is rooted in the Hamitic gods, which go back to the worship of Satan. All right. This is what this is what uh, America is doing now. All right. So just as we were punished in the ancient world for you don't think the most high ain't going to punish. Oh, yeah, you're going to get punished, too. You ain't just going to walk away and everything going to be all good. All right. So I'm going to read an account of what happened to us. All right. This is the book of Jeremiah 32, 31. It says, for this city have been to me as a provocation of mine anger. And that's what Babylon has been. All right. Everything you've done to the children of Israel since you stepped foot over here, you've been provoking the Lord's anger so-called white people, you Edomites, all right? And now the Heavenly Father is just about ready to cash in on your wickedness. And you can't, you can't, you can't escape your judgment, all right? It says, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And art thou he who shall altogether go unpunished? No, you're not going to go unpunished, Esau. You are not going unpunished. Let me, let me find that real quick. Let me get that and then we'll come back to Jeremiah. I got to read that. OK, you are going to be punished. All right. Let me find that real quick.
bear with me a quick second. Here it is, Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 12. It says, For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it, meaning the Israelites. We drunk of the Heavenly Father's cup. You want to know what's the Heavenly Father's cup? Go to the book of Psalm 75. All right. There's a cup in the Lord's hand, and the wine therein uh, is red. All right. And all the wicked of the earth shall drink the dregs of it. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to read that next. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 49, 12. It says, for thus saith the Lord, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk. It. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Meaning you Edomites. All right. You ain't going unpunished. This, if this if this dude's an a Edomite, he's going into captivity. Guaranteed. Right? If Mike Adams is an Edomite, he's going into captivity. Guaranteed. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. All right? It says, Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Now, let's see what this cup the Heavenly Father is talking about is. All right? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 75, and uh, I'm going to start at 7, all right? It says, but the Most High is the judge. He put him down one and set him up another, all right? So Esau, Edom, you've been set up for the past seven, 800 years, almost a 1,000 years on the planet, and you have turned the planet into a goddamn war zone and getting ready to be a wilderness when you when you use them missiles. And you're going to be judged for it. But the most high puts you, he set you up. All right. Don't get it twisted, Edom. The heavenly father put you there and your works are going to declare that you're going to just you're going to get just what we read about. in Jeremiah 49 and 12. You're going to drink of this cup. All right. Jeremiah, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Psalm 75 and 8. For in the hand of the Lord, there is a cup and the wine is red. It is full of mixture and he poureth out of the same. But the dregs thereof, meaning the dregs. Salak, your uh, call came in. But um, let me read that again in Psalm 75. Man. All right. In 8, it says. For in the hand of the Lord, there is a cup and the wine is red. It is full of mixture and he poureth out the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them, meaning all Edomites. All right. You're the wicked and you're going to drink of the Lord's cup. All right. Because the Lord used you to force us to drink his cup. All right. We went through uh, total uh, uh, rape, rob and murder. All right. First with the, 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 the northern kingdom, when you came over here as the uh, Spaniards, the conquistadors, the Puritans, the colonizers, and you totally, uh, you know, brought holy hell and forced the northern kingdom to drink of the Lord's cup. All right. Then you went and got Judah, Benjamin and Levi and you put them into captivity. All right. And forced them to drink of the Lord's cup. All right. So now the tables are turning. Now you're getting ready to be forced right along with the rest of the nations to drink of the Lord's cup. And it's going to be enforced by his people, beginning with the elect of the nation of Israel. 
right? So let's go back to Jeremiah 32. Let's read this real quick. And we'll get back to the video. Jeremiah chapter 32. Um, I'm going to start at 31 again. All right. It says, for this city have been to me as a provocation of mine anger and of my fury from the day that they built it even unto this day. All right. And from the day that these Mother efforts have uh, built up uh, America. It has been provoking the Lord ever since because it, it has never been rooted and founded in uh, Christian principles, so-called Christian principles, as uh, Mike Adams said. That was just a, 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 a hat that it wore. It's always been rooted in Satanism. OK, this is how this man gets his power. OK. It says, uh, it says, uh, Salaki, from the top again, for this city have been to me as a provocation of mine anger and of my fury from the day that they built it, even unto this day. So going back to when they first established America, 1776, as they call it, even before that, all right? Because they got over here, you know, the 13th, uh, the 12th century. All right. They got over here the 12th century uh, and was slaughtering really probably the uh, the 11th century, 11th, 12th century. And, and they commenced the slaughtering on the on the, uh, the natives, which which is the uh, northern kingdom of the nation of Israel. A prominent name. They just celebrated his so-called uh, day, Cristobal Colon or AKA Christopher Columbus, all right? He's a prominent name celebrated amongst you Edomites because he so-called discovered the new world. When you read his manifesto, it was far from a discovery. It was a genocide on the children of Israel when he landed on uh, Hispaniola, all right? It says uh, that I should remove it before my face. And that's what the Lord going to do with America. He's going to remove this place. Literally. All right. He's going to burn it. Okay. Verse 32. Because of all the evil of the children of Israel and of the children of Judah. Like I said, this was going back then. Because this is what we did and what the Most High do to us. He removed us from his sight. Okay. So you Edomites, you're not even the Lord's people. So what you think he getting ready to do to you? It says, which they have done to provoke me to anger. They, their kings, their princes, their priests and the prophets and the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And they have turned onto me the back and not the face. And that's what America has done, which this place has never been accepted on, uh, you know, Christian principles and values. As Mike Adams said, it's always been about Satan. So from the inception of this place, the back has been turned to the Heavenly Father. All right. Just as we did back in the ancient world and the Lord, he punished us for it. So you Edomites are getting ready to get punished. All right. You're getting ready to get it out here, man. Um, it says, and they have turned onto me the back and not the face. Though I taught them, rising up early and teaching them, yet they have not hearkened to receive my to receive instruction. Uh, verse 34. But they set their abominations in their house, which is called by my name to defile it. Here's the point. And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the of the son of Hinnom. To cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire unto Molech, which I commanded them not, neither came it in into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. So the same thing that we in the ancient world uh, did to provoke the Heavenly Father to send nations in, to, to straight up destroy us, put us into captivity and punish us. 
is the same shit that you uh, Edomites are doing right now. And it's, it's about time for your judgment to come. All right. Your judgment is on the brink of happening out here. And there's nothing you can do or nobody that can do to stop the hand of the Lord because it's upon you. All right. Ain't nothing y'all could do. Okay. Ain't nothing you could do. It was nothing we could do. And we had the we had the the power to return to the Heavenly Father and repent of our ways. Sometimes we did, and sometimes we didn't. You know, sometimes the most high said, you know, I'm not fuck that. And he just punished us. All right. There were times to where we did uh conduct repentance as a as a unit, as a nation, and the Lord uh held back his wrath. Uh uh, Jonah, the prophet Jonah, when he prophesied to Nineveh as an example. But then eventually when the prophet Nahum rose up, the people of uh, Nineveh went back to their wickedness, which those were Israelites living in Nineveh. They went back to their wickedness and the Lord destroyed that, that damn place. All right. So we on the brink of the Lord destroying Babylon the Great because of the wickedness. All right. Um. So let's listen to a little more, and I want to get a couple of more scriptures. Absolutely not, Mike. I mean, it, it's like the, the reality is, is we have a historical foundation for our nation and for the original, you know, in the Bible um, nation of Israel. But if we forsake those foundations, we don't get to claim some special chosen protectiveness. It's like, you know what? If we are faithless. We open ourselves up to the, the very real things of the effects of what we worship. You know, right. Putin, I, I think it was like about a, a decade ago at, at International Gathering, he, he made a statement. America wasn't there, but he made a statement that 70 percent of the elected officials of America are open Luciferian satanic worshipers. And, and it's higher than 70 percent. In order for you to be an elected official member of Congress, you got to be all the way down with the left hand agenda. Right. Just like when you want to make all the millions of dollars as an entertainer, you got to be down with the left hand and uh, uh, agenda. It ain't 70 percent of elected officials. It's way more than that. You should you, you might as well say 100 percent. All right. So 100 percent of them goddamn demons. You know, I would say 99, you know, percent. OK. They all know what the get down is. man. OK. And it's like when you get you just like, oh, my gosh, that's a pretty profound statement. But he was making the statement that so much of it is tied to Freemasonry. And when you look at the foundations of that, that is open Luciferian worship at the very core. And you can't get anywhere in our political um, world unless you sort of subscribe to Freemasonry. That's how Alistair Crawley, right? He's the, he was the, he was the one that gave these devils the blueprint on how to worship uh, that left hand energy, do as thou will spirit, all right? And he just said it. You can't get nowhere without uh, being involved in that in that uh. In that space, you can't. All these Israelites that you see that have so-called blown up, you know, the face of the so-called black community, uh, they've all sold out to that, to that, uh, to Satan through Esau, Edom, all of them. Okay, you're not gonna be worth no eight, nine hundred million billion dollars, and you ain't down with the program. You ain't drinking blood and committing homosexual acts and doing all this crazy shit. That's not going to happen. All right. And you and you a so-called voice of the people. OK. Nah, you got you down with the get down. OK. How you elevate yourself within our systems. Well. That's our elite class. Those are our leaders. That's not our rank and file nation. So when God looks down at the nation, I do think he sees a difference between the people 
and those rulers who are, are no we don't all right there's a scripture in the apocrypha that says as is the uh king so is his people let me see let me see if i can find that real quick Bear uh, with me a second. Let me get to scrolling. There it is, Salaki. I found it. Um, it's in the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 10. It says, I'm going to start at verse, I'm going to start at the top. It says, a wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. All right. Now, this man that's on in the policy, he's not a wise judge. All right. Verse two, as the judge of the people is himself. So like, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are they that dwell therein. So if if the man sitting on the throne is into worshiping Satan, and that's many accounts when you go to uh, the, the Old Testament and, and you read about the different wicked kings that were set up on the throne, they caused Israel to sin against the Lord. All right. So it's the same with Esau, Edom. He's causing Israel to sin against the Lord. Because they look to him as he's as he's as he's God, man. They don't see him as the devil. But you will soon, all right? You will see this man soon as being the devil. All right. Now let me um our, our sort of ruling I might have to fast forward a little bit. Let me see where it's at. Let me listen to it a little bit because it's another point I wanted to hear and pull out these scriptures that uh came to me at first. Uh, to do this show, let's listen over them, and I, I think that that's both good and bad news. One, we're allowing it because we're not doing our job to be the check and balance on them. But and we'll show he doesn't understand the scriptures. We ain't allowing anything. The heavenly Father is allowing. It. Okay, heavenly Father is the one allowing. It. Okay, it says. Uh, uh, in the book of uh, uh, Thessalonians, which I'm going to read, he who will now let, will let until he be taken out of the way. See, if he was a real pastor and a minister of the word of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh he would know that, but he's not. All right? He's not. He's up here talking about he thinking this, that, and the third. We don't think. We know over here at Great Millstone. All right? We know. But the other thing is, I don't look. I don't think God looks down at the nation of, of America or even bullshit. Bullshit, He does. All right. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand to make all the earth drunk. He gonna do away with this place. Let me fast forward. Let me see. I think it's about okay. I think it's about here. Spiritual resources. Yes, well, 
a lot of people tried to use their voice on January 6th, right? And they've ended up right. political prisoners. And we do see, of course, the persecution of Christian pastors and preachers, for example, in Canada. Uh, they, they, they've they uh, imprisoned one particular pastor there. And in the United Kingdom, across Western Europe, it's illegal to quote scripture. In, in many countries, there is a criminalization of Christianity and, uh, of course, the, the rejection of Christian principles in in the schools but i understand what you're saying it, none of that stops a person from praying at home or with family in their private homes and repenting for the sins of their own life or the lives of their their nation members i mean the government can't stop you from praying in your own home no and 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 the, and the truth is is we're we're not power it tells you if the uh <laughs> It says that uh, uh, this, 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 the, the prayer of the ungodly is an abomination. All right. So you Edomites could pray all you want. That's an abomination to the Most High, man. All right. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter forty-one, and uh, five. It says the children of sinners are abominable children, and they that are com conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly, the inheritance of sinners, children shall perish and their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. And that's what we're seeing, all right? The posterity of you devils is a perpetual reproach. It says the children will come, they're, the children will complain of an ungodly father. That's what Mike Adams and this man is doing right now. All right. They complaining of an ungodly father, the rulers of their world. All right. Because like I said before in videos past, prior to 2020, you Edomites like these two here, what well, they wasn't feeling no goddamn pain, man. They wasn't hurting for nothing. All right. Um, It says. Uh, verse seven again, the children will complain of an ungodly father. Because they shall be, they shall be reproached for his sake. All right, and that's what's happening. You Edomites are complaining that you want us to get on the bandwagon with you. It's us against. No, 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 no. It wasn't that. See, it's it's that now because you starting to fill it in your bank account. You starting to fill it in your household, and you and now you seeing that you were just a privileged Edomite whose rulers didn't give two shits about you, but they set rules in place for you to get ahead in society. But now they're getting ready to do away with this society. And they're going to do away with your ass too. That's what, and you, and you, and you nervous. Yeah, you devils, you, you might as well just lay down and, and accept what's coming to you. Okay, it says, woe be unto you, ungodly men, which have forsaken the law of the most high God. For if ye increase, it shall be to your destruction. And that's what's happened. All right. Okay. Let me get that one I quoted a little earlier. Proverbs 15 and 8. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord. All right. But the prayer of the upright is his delight. The upright is talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Let me type this in. That ain't the one I want, but that's a good one. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 9 This is it He that turneth away his ear From hearing the law 
And that's you Edomites. You don't want to hear the law of the Most High. That's why you pass laws contrary to the law of the Heavenly Father. And we go down the whole list. You sell nut, you sell pork uh, uh, like that's a lawful meat. You know, you got it in every goddamn thing. You got it in candy. So you 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 the one that turneth your ear away from hearing the law of the Most High. All right. So it says, He that turned away his ear from hearing the law. Even his prayer shall be abomination. All right. So it ain't you eat a mice. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you eat a mice can do, man. All right. Let me get ready to close this out because uh, it's about that time. Um, let me fast forward just a little bit more. And we're seeing the U.S. pushing for uh, war and, and Israel, especially Netanyahu, politically is internally pressured to make sure that there's a full attack on Gaza for his own political survival. Because if he loses his position of power, he's probably going to prison uh, yeah. quite, quite clearly. Uh, but other nations are involved. Iran has just issued a statement that says if Israel attacks Gaza, then Iran will uh, get involved. You can only imagine what that means. And Iranian militias in Syria uh, and Damascus mentioned, <laughs> you know, uh, in the Bible and, and Turkey and Jordan and Hezbollah, Lebanon, e Egypt, even, uh, which has blocked the exit on the su southwestern portion of the Gaza Strip. Concrete blocks there to say, no, the Palestinians shall not flee to Egypt, which, of course, has all kinds of biblical echoes right there. Yeah. But, um how do we make sense of where this is going? Because none of it looks good, Brad. None of it. Oh, no. I mean, it it, it does look like it's going off a cliff and it's going to end up with some sort of, you know, potential nuclear exchange. There will be a nuclear exchange. That's what's going to take you devils out. man. I'm going to end it. I, don't wanna, I ain't going to play no more. There is a little bit more. Um, Lord will, I remember I placed that interview in the description box. There's plenty of points if you want to, you know, get a video in and sharpen your sword up to where you can, uh, you know, you know, get some bag work in, spiritual bag work. So I'm going to read this and um, get ready to close it out. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, um, uh, starting at 3. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, which Esau Edom is the man of sin. And he's being revealed right now in this day and age. All right. I'm talking about even his own is revealing his ass. OK. Verse four, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. All right. So that's the scripture this man should have read to uh, Mike Adams. The reason that they can lock people up and get away with all this wickedness is because the Heavenly Father is the one that got them in the power seat. And this is why. All right. Verse eight. And then shall the wicked be revealed from the whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, his prophets, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. All right. When he sends his son, Yahweh Shai back. Verse nine. Even him who's coming. Is after the working of Satan with all power, signs and lying wonders. And that's what they're talking about. They're talking about their daddy Esau, whose coming is after the working, the working of Satan. All right. It's a well known fact. And when you listen to this whole thing, they're talking about how these people who are in charge openly worship Satan. All right. That's because that's who this man is. Right. And if you can't see it, that's on you. All right. So I'm going to end it there. So I got to impress for time. Uh, Lord will. This was an edifying 
a lesson to the hopeful elect, giving all praise to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and we on to the next one. Shalom.